G'day! In today's video, I'm opening up an Acer Swift 3, model number SF314-42 series. This one looks like it's seen fairly better days before coming in here. But I want to open it up and just see what's upgradable in here. But also I do want to simply disconnect and reconnect the battery. So come along for the ride and I'll see what we find along the way. Using all Phillips head screws along the bottom here. They're all coming out pretty easily. But this one, as I said, is extremely dinged up. Hasn't received a nice treatment over its life. I'm not sure what generation this particular one is. I think it may be an 8th or 6th generation Intel processor. Pop this open to have a squeeze. You can see we're not very well treated. This corner over here, fairly bashed in, but if I take the back off, use a plastic pry tool and slide that into the gap. There you go. Due to the beaten nature of this, just wants to spring off. Go. Sadly, looking in here, there's very little we can upgrade. We could potentially replace the battery, which has the model number AP18CK or C8K, and it is a where are we here? 11.25 volt battery. Some of the models do use different voltages. We could replace the fan if need be. We could upgrade the Wi Fi card over here. Over this side, we've got the LED lights, USB and headphone jack. And going over to this side, we have one very small AMD chip. The reason why I say it's AMD is because I can see AMD written there. It does say AMD Ryzen 3. So it's probably a, I think it's a Ryzen 3 3020, I believe, a very low end one. Maybe a mistake in there. Over here, if you do damage the charger port, sadly you will have to take out the main board to do a full solder job to replace that. And here we have the NVMe drive. So we spin that around. We are model number PM991, or also MZ-VLQ2560, which is a Samsung NVMe drive. So that would be replaceable. So sadly, there's really not much more you can do in here. You can replace the NVMe drive for a larger capacity. You could change your Wi-Fi card if you're having dramas or want a faster speed, and you can replace the battery. You could potentially replace the screen if you do it, if you do damage that. Overall, can't add more RAM, which would be hidden under here. Sadly, we can't get dual channel for this Ryzen chip. Anyway, that will do for today, and I'll see you guys later. Bye.